I just sat down to charcuterie, charcuterie, charcuterie is what I call it, charcuterie, because it's hilarious. I think our stuff just got here from Amazon. Is it our stuff? No. It's our stuff. Look at our stuff. And got a floor. What is it? LED lights to go oh, behind yeah. the TV. Dope. In the desk area. Dope. And a new thing for the pop shelf, our brackets, and I haven't painted the shelf yet. Oops. Let's go. All right, so just a quick recap of where we left off last time. We switched our music instrument wall and our anime art gallery wall. So what you're seeing here is just a reminder of what we did last time. We hung up about one row of pictures, decided which ones we wanted to keep, which ones we want to get rid of, and we just kept on trucking. Yeah, I'm gonna do a circle around the whole thing. So we're just hanging them up on the wall with command strips, one on either side of each frame. And that's so just in case we screw up, we can always move them around. <laughs> All right, huh? Looking good. Like I should. I know, look at the boob light. The boob. The boob. No one wants a boob light. Look at that. I was wondering why it's gonna leak some milk. <laughs> And this definitely isn't all of the art that we have or all the art we're going to have. We're just going to collect more over time. We've got a lot of conventions coming up and now we know exactly how many horizontal and vertical prints we need to finish the wall. All right, I like that. True. That's a good, that's a good wall for now. That will do pig, that will do. Man, look how much room we have left for activities. And by activities, I mean more prints. Mm -hmm. Like we could go one more vertically. No, two more vertically. Two, or yeah, one on each side vertically, one on each side horizontally. Lots, so much feet. more room. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good start. Let's see our new Gobi stuff. Oh my God, I can't pick it up. This is for the TV. Ooh, it's a very pretty rope light. It's like got the diffuser kind of covering over it. Now these are regular LED light strips. Um, these ones are going here in the closet. I have never installed strip lights. I know people do this all the time. I built freaking furniture, y'all. I think I can handle some LED strips. And I should be able to control it from my phone from the Gobi Home app, which is super fun. Oh my God, it's actually very heavy. This is the brackets that are gonna go and help us hang our other pop slash figure shelf. That's not very exciting, but yeah, I can't open it either. I need, I need some keys or a knife. So look, it comes with these things. They stick to the TV with 3M and it has three corner pieces. And it actually tells you like exactly where to position these depending on what size TV you have. All right, so these are for the actual entire closet. And we don't know how we're gonna do this yet. I wanna see how long it actually is. Yep, there's white. And warm white. Woo! Whoa, no way! Wee, woo, wah! So one way I thought of lighting this up is coming just right here on the edge. That's where I am. And doing that 
because I figure like it'll shine here and there. But then I don't know if that would actually shine down in these shelves. That might cost some glare. I mean, babe, it'll work. Look at this. I am happy to report a few weeks later that none of the lighting I put up in the closet is affecting my glasses or glaring at all during stream, so it's just perfect. What's really cool is each of these cards has these holes in it, which is where you put the things that hold the rope. And then each one is shaped a little bit different. These are the corner pieces, so that's really handy. So let's get started. The TV lighting only took about 15 minutes and I recommend you do it to every TV in your house because it was awesome. It said to plug it in and make sure it works first. Ooh, it do be working. Woo! The lighting made the absolute biggest difference in this room and I can't thank Govi enough for making affordable lighting because it just looks so good. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I thought this was gonna be like the easiest part of the project and it ended up giving us a huge headache, but we got it. And for our pop and figure shelf, I used this Verathane Polyan stain to stain the board and my boards are actually left over from when I built a fence around my house. So I've been using these boards to put shelves all over the place, but this time we're gonna take an extra step to make sure that it adheres better to the wood by using a wood conditioner. Wood conditioner just helps the wood hold stain even better without streaking, so it's a must. Prep your wood properly. I did one coat of wood conditioner and two coats of the stain and poly and it probably only took about one day and I let it dry for about 24 hours before we started installing it. This is the bottom. That's the top. Yeah. <laughs> Because these fence boards have been sitting in my garage for like months or actually years, they're definitely warped, so putting them up is definitely a two-person job for us. And here we are just styling up our new shelf. By no means are these gonna be the things that stay on this shelf forever. We're definitely gonna change it up. We intend to get a lot more pops um, now that we've decided that that's a thing we're going to do and collect. So for now, we've just thrown up a bunch of really cute things, including some faux plants that I picked up from like Hobby Lobby. So I just think it's a whole vibe.
so I am screwing the mount onto our new monitor. This is a Vivo vertical mount from Amazon. And by vertical mount, I mean it's only going to adjust up and down vertically. We're going to have it right at the center of the desk. So here is the Vivo mount. It looks like this. Very heavy duty, very strong. Our mount is very secure. I don't want to over tighten anything. This is an Acer Nitro monitor. Uh, it's actually only 23.8 inches. Our last monitor was a curved 27 inch, which was way too much. So going to something like 24 or less was kind of a must. All right, let's get the measuring for this. I had marked on the wall where the very center was to help me put this up. And the wall's black and I marked it with a gray pencil. So you gotta do it again. God, it's hard to see anything on a black wall, bro. If you're going to hang something expensive like a monitor on a wall, make sure you're using drywall anchors properly or going straight into a stud. Oh, it does tilt a tiny bit. I think I really like it actually. And we'll paint the the screws black. And then yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Now it can go vertical. It goes a little bit side by side. It's ready to be plugged in and then watch. To go down, you actually have to go all the way up. And once you go all the way up, It'll come back down to its lowest point. I'm super, super pleased. I'm really excited now. Let's clean it up. Let's clean it up. Is this slim line metal surge protector with eight outlets and two USB ports. Now that I'm streaming, I have a monitor, speakers, and lighting. There are so many cords involved with our desk. A while back, we hired an electrician to install that quad outlet with four outlets in there in that closet, but that wasn't enough. So now we've gotten this um, surge protector to help give us all the cords we hopefully will ever need under the desk. All right, now we need to manage a couple cables just get them out of the way so we don't see them step on them there's two usbs one two three four five more outlets and then we have four outlets over there so that's a lot These right here are some sticky little cable management things I also got from Amazon. You're just supposed to stick them underneath the surface, open them up and close them right over the cable to hold them up in the air and not let them hang down. So they have come in handy and they come in a bag with a lot. So you can use these all around your house. Get that when the chair's pushed in, you won't see a thing. It is getting cleaner. Now we gotta figure out how to cable manage up here from the monitor and down. We need a cable channel that comes down this way and all the way across so that all of those cables can go into a cable channel. I really don't know though. This is gonna be, it's gonna be tricky. We're gonna go watch some videos. But what we're doing today is we got our monitor up. You guys saw that, it was really scary, but we figured it out. But now we have cable channels. So we got these from Amazon. I will link them below. Stage Geek, extra strength, self-adhesive tape and screws included. I will not be screwing it, but they essentially look like that. It's probably like six or eight pieces of just this. So this is about a foot long and it has holes going all down it wires can come up through the top or the bottom so you could put this behind a desk we're gonna lay it on top of the desk so the top piece is just like a nice really nice looking 
almost a metal pattern, but it's definitely bendable. On the back is a sticky strip and I'm gonna stick it directly to the wall. This long piece is gonna have to, I also have to loosen these wires from under the desk because I already kind of did them. So this is gonna go here and all the wires right there are going to go through here, down into the holes here and to the right as they are now, just in the cable channel. And behind this speaker, there's a hole right here. And all of these cables will just come out of there, go back there, and always remain hidden behind the KRK Rocket speaker. All right, cable channels are in. They go all the way across. And now it's time to get the cords in. <laughs> okay, so I really want to start up here. This actually ended up being very tricky because the monitor moves up and down and it was messing with the length of the cable channel, but I did figure it out. Cables are managed. So look at that, from far away, you can barely tell. Now, do we still need decorations up there? Yes. But look at that from far away. So professional. No wires anywhere on the desk seat. Look at the switch now. All I'm gonna do is push it back like that. There we go. There we go. Have an extra clip. And these get thrown away. And we're cable managed. I've managed the cables. Yay! Unfortunately, this little cable has to stay out because that's the one that plugs me completely into all of my streaming setup. So that is the actual reason I got these specific cable channels because it allows me to pull that cord out when I need it and I can put it away when I don't. So it's just what it is. You can't hide every single cable, but we did pretty dang good. Okay, so I just noticed that these screws are silver and they're just kind of sticking out. When the monitor is in the down position, you can see them. So here's your solution, it is a black Sharpie. I know I can get this off with one hand. So we're gonna take it and color, 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 color. Yeah, we're gonna have to get inside there with like a paintbrush. Here is the finished product. Wow, I can't believe how much better it looks, how different it looks. The lighting made probably the biggest difference to me. It just really gives the room an ambiance and the fact that I can go on the Govi app and change the scenes uh, to be still lighting or like it is right now in the video, lighting that moves and changes color. And you can edit every single inch of every strip of the Govi lights to make it however you're feeling in the moment. I think the closet lighting was $30 and the TV was on sale for like $40. So all the lighting was under $100 and my fence shelf <laughs> was free. So in all, with all of the weird little things I had to purchase in between, this entire part of the renovation was probably between $150 and $200, which to me is not bad at all and took very minimal effort and education. So I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. And I really do think anybody else could do this and more very easily.
We actually added some prints here that we got at a convention in December, the Anime Town convention. So we added the Haikyuu, the Spy Family, and Jiraiya Naruto, and we have another convention coming up soon so we can add even more prints to the wall to kind of finish it out. For the next video, we're gonna need something to go above this desk in that black space above the computer monitor. Uh, and then we're also gonna need to do something to this back wall, change the lighting. We hate the boob light. Um, I was thinking of a wood slap feature wall, but it is gonna be tricky. I've never done one before and they can get quite pricey. And then of course, we can't really put anything behind where the door swings open. We absolutely hate the carpet in this room, but we can't rip it up. So we are gonna need some kind of rug to just make it feel a little bit better in here. If you've made it to the end of the video, I thank you so much for your support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave in the comments some ideas you have for this area for the next video because I need your help. See you next time.